How are we doing guys? Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, today's Homebrew Wednesday is two can I'm gonna do two kit cans today, two different ones. I'm gonna mix them both together. They're going to be I'll put this in the end. Geordie winter warmer. I'm gonna mix with Wilco's Dark Velvet Stout. So, uh, give that a try, see what we get. Put some uh, kilo and a bit of brew enhancer in it. Young's brew enhancer, beer enhancer, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's been a good old week this week, work wise. Smash the bonus. Which is good. Mega wage come in next week because it's my birthday as well. I'll get paid the day, the same day as my birthday or the day after. Can't complain. And the wedding anniversary on the Sunday as well. So then, what have I been doing? Well, I've got a new addition to the shed. This is a neon a beer jug. Um, I've also got some post. Some beer mail come through which I haven't looked at yet. Let's find this somewhere. Let's put this chuffing phone. Let's open it up, shall we? <coughs> no addresses to be seen. Got this off eBay. Basically, a Safina fermenting tray. Two demijohns fitting there nicely, and I've launched it that way around. And just put something on top that way around. Cost me about four quid, I think it was. Okay, it's not brand new, but four quid you can't go wrong, can you? Um, new to homebrew life, Mick. It's new to homebrew life. I think I've got your name wrong. Um, I sent you something through the post. Don't be alarmed when you get it. There's a pun there, as you'll probably see when you open it. It's bright yellow, uh, and so let me just check. I've got that name right. Cause I hate getting people's name wrong. Uh, our channel. Excuse me a second. Anyway, I think I got it right anyway. So anyway, make your things in the post. I know you probably receive it today or tomorrow or something, depends how quick it is. Um hope you get a pulse from it. Alright then, let's crack on with the brew. So basically I'm just using two kits, beer enhancer. I boiled the kettle already. And there's the water. Juice today because I've got to go work in an hour and a half, so this is a bit of a rush one. So excuse my uh, enthusiasm. Oh, that's my get out of bed alarm. Up. That was me alarm to get out of bed. Do 
good old stir. Bit of clumps in it. <coughs> Yes, working nights like, I don't know if I make it complicated sometimes for the old home brewing though, doesn't it? What? I'm on days next week hopefully, for the first time in six months. So basically I've just put six pints of water in there, just about a kilo, not even half a kilo of beer and hand so give it a stir, give it a good old mix in, make sure there's no clumps and lumps. So then I'm going to add the extract. It's all been st <coughs> sterilised till I've coughed in it. That's a dent that is, better do this way around. This one is the dark velvet. Dark Velvet is probably one of the better Wilco kits you can get. Just do quite a good pint. I would show you that. I've got actually got a barrel full down there. But as I'm going to work, I can't. Bit of a bummer. But it won't look very good if I'm walking down the middle of the road paint lines off piss. Geordie Ale. Now I'm thinking a name for this. Uh, we've got Winter Ale and Dark Velvet. So I'm thinking Velvet Winter or something. Winter Velvet. Any names? Any ideas? Just let me know. Um, have some more beer mail coming through the street. Some uh, USO5 yeast, some wheat, beer and ham So I'm trying to do a lakey blokes. Um, mountain brew, goat mountain. I can't remember what it was called now. He knows anyway. Try and clone that. Never get a chance. <coughs> Can't swear in here. And this will be topped up to about 20 or so litres. And leave it for a week, as long as required. Jump potatoes beeping in the background. Yeah, 
freezer. Anyway, <clears throat> that's that in there. I was going to put it in a glass car boy, a little blow off tube on it, but I've got some uh, apple cream turbo cider in that, so I can't. Tonight, off it to Cambridgeshire tonight. Don't know whereabouts till we get in the yard. And then I think I'm in Bedford tomorrow and Friday. Or Bedfordshire. Yeah, so it's uh, it's just uh, I'm not going to drink this. I'm just going to pour a quick, just pour a quick half pint off. I'm going to chuck it of my uh, John Bull Indian Pay Ale. I wanted with the uh, just the honey, two kilo of honey. Okay, I can't remember which one it was now. Just do a quick, and you can have a look at it, can't you? Shame to waste it, but I might put it in the fridge and have it when I get back at flipping stupid o'clock in the morning. Look at that minute to clear. Bit of a head on it. Bit of a haze there. But yeah, it's not a bad pint. Not a bad pint at all. So, uh, I mean, bear in mind that's just had fruit juice in it. So that's probably why there's a bit, a bit of carbonation there. I'll stick that in the compost heap. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, so let's go and get some, uh, top this up with some water. <clears throat> My lovely garden, which I'm in the middle of uh, hacking to death. There's my hose with my bucket of steriliser. <clears throat> Just give that a quick run off. I do. Top that up to about the 23 litre mark, that's a point mark. Um, that'd be it really, chuck some yeast in. Leave it for a week or so, or how long it requires. I'm getting wet. Um, and that's it, I'm just waiting for some more beer mail, some yeast, a few other bits and bobs that the missus don't know about. Um, that's it really. Um, anyway, cheers guys. Sorry it's a bit of a rush job, I've got to work soon. Alright, cheers. <coughs> 